Welcome to CourseWave, American Book Company's digital learning platform. In this webinar, we'll walk through getting started with the CourseWave platform so that you can start preparing your students for high-stakes state testing right away. This webinar is divided into three parts. One, importing student rostering data. Two, navigating the CourseWave platform. And three, getting the most out of our partner integrations. Part one, importing student rostering data. When your school or district purchased your ABC resources, your CourseWave codes were sent in a spreadsheet to the purchaser or designated point of contact. Let's take a closer look at the spreadsheet. This spreadsheet has eight columns and a code for every student book purchased. Not all of the columns are required, but let's discuss each of them. The required columns are the first three, A, B, C, just like our name. A lists the name of the resource, B lists the code, and C lists the name of the student who will be using that resource. If any of these columns have blank cells, you will receive an error on upload. We recommend saving extra codes in a separate spreadsheet for future use. Column D is for the student ID number. ABC does not use this information. However, we make it available for your use. Column E is for the student's email address. Even if your students can't receive email, more on that in a minute, some of our partner integrations, like Microsoft, Google, Clever, and Classlink, use this information as an identifier, and having this information will allow your students to take advantage of single sign-on, also known as SSO. Column F is for the teacher email. If this column is not filled out, the students will automatically be assigned to the teacher who imports this file. Column G is for the teacher name. Column H is for the class. ABC does not use this information, but it might be useful to you to identify or segment your students by their class period or even homeroom teacher. If this is not useful to you, feel free to leave it blank. Now that you have your spreadsheet filled out, it's time to upload it to CourseWave. Log into your teacher account at coursewave.com login. Once logged in, you will see a button that says Import Codes in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Clicking this button will open the Import dialog. After selecting your file, you will be asked if you included email addresses, whether your students can receive email, and whether they will be using SSO to log in. Once you've answered the import questions, you will be able to import your spreadsheet file. If your students cannot receive email from outside the district, CourseWave will not send any emails to the students, so we ask you to let us know during the import process. Now that the spreadsheet is uploaded, all teachers and all students will be able to see their resources in their CourseWave dashboard. Part 2, Navigating the CourseWave Dashboard. The CourseWave Dashboard is the hub of all things CourseWave. From here, you can view all of your resources and the most recent student submissions. To return to this screen from anywhere in the platform, simply click on the CourseWave by ABC logo in the upper left corner of your screen. First, let's look at the settings screen. Here, you can change your personal settings, including your public display name and your password. You can also set up two-factor authentication to help keep your account secure. This is also where you can connect and disconnect your account from Google Classroom or sync your ClassLink roster. Next, let's take a closer look at your resource view. From your CourseWave dashboard, click on one of your resources to see the resource view. You will see the book cover on the left side of the screen with three buttons underneath it. The Manage Codes button takes you to your class roster where you can view, edit, or archive your current and past students. The View eBook and View Teacher's Guide buttons open the eBook reader in a new tab, allowing you to navigate through those materials or display them on a screen. Next, you'll notice three tabs across the top of your resource view. The default tab is the Tests tab. This allows you to view or review the test questions before you assign them to your students. The middle tab is your Submissions tab. 
This is where you can see the tests submitted by your students, their scores, and whether there are ungraded essay or short answer questions that need your attention. From this screen, you can view the individual submissions, email individual student scores, or reset a submission. You can also export these scores to a spreadsheet using the buttons at the top of your screen. To view all of the submissions for a single student, click that student's name. To view all submissions for a single test, click the test name. From this view, you will be able to access and print your score report, which is filterable by student or standard. The score report gives a quick, visual guide to how the class and individual students performed on the test. This report can also be exported to an Excel spreadsheet for your convenience. Back on the resource view, the third tab is the standard report. This report maps the standards to specific pre- and post-test questions. Part 3. Getting the most out of our partner integrations. We are proud to partner with Google, Microsoft, Clever, and ClassLink to offer single sign-on for teacher and student accounts. We use email addresses as identifiers. As long as you use the same email address for your CourseWave account that you do for our partners, you will be able to use these single sign-on buttons to access CourseWave. Our Google Classroom integration also allows you to create draft Google Classroom assignments from within CourseWave and share score data between CourseWave and Google Classroom. To connect your Google Classroom account, go to the Settings tab and scroll down to the Link Google Classroom button. Follow the prompts from Google to connect your Google account. When this is complete, your screen should say, you have successfully linked CourseWave to Google Classroom. You can disable this connection at any time by clicking the Disable Google Classroom button. Now you can create draft Google Classroom assignments from the resource view in CourseWave. Our ClassLink integration allows teachers to create student accounts by syncing their ClassLink roster from the settings screen. If you're signed in with ClassLink, you've already connected your ClassLink account. Simply click on the Sync ClassLink Roster button to create student accounts for any students who did not already have them. Then, when you import your student rostering data, their resources will automatically populate to their dashboards. Thank you for watching our Getting Started webinar. For more CourseWave resources, visit our knowledge base at help.coursewave.com.